What's going down y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another barber tutorial. Now this one is super simple, probably one of the easiest haircuts that I have to perform. We're just going to do a mid ball fade, leave the curls on top and do some beard work. As far as the fade goes, I really haven't changed my technique at all. I start the fade using no guard lever close. The second guideline you guys will see on top of this is no guard lever open. In between those two first guidelines, I will just open and close the lever halfway to knock out the line and then go up from there. Now to leave ourselves some room to work with in the top of the fade, we're gonna use a hair clip to move the hair to the side and hold it in place so it's not getting into the way when we actually do the fade. So now that we have the hair separated and we know what we need to fade, what we need to knock down, our next guideline going upwards is gonna be a long number one or a number one guard with lever open. This is going to be our last guideline because after this we're going to slap on a number two guard and really fade out the rest of the fade. So this is the last guideline that you need to create. Um, so like I said, we're going to slap on a number two guard and blend out the rest of the fade going upwards closest to the curls. And really all that's left is to knock out the line in between no guard open and then number one guard open. So to do that, we're going to slap on a number zero guard or a number one sixteenth guard. Now this is where your finesse comes in. You really want to flick out that line because it is easy to create a another guideline at this point and we don't want to do that. We want to fade rather than create the line. So that's where your finesse comes in and that's where flicking out becomes most important. Now the very last and most important part of the fade is to go back in with the no guard open and closing. Now I say this is the most important part of the fade because either one, you can create so much gradients, have that fade looking buttery smooth by knocking out any dark spots and fine lines, or you can create another guideline, a couple ball spots, create more lines and just fuck up the fade completely. So that's where your finesse comes back in when you're working with no guard and that's why I say it's the most important part. Now moving on to blending the top portion of the beard into the fade, like I always tell you guys, this is kind of like an upside down taper, but my client is in the growth period of his beard, like we don't even trim it at all right now, he's just trying to grow it out as much as possible. So I'm just doing like a super light blend on the top of the beard. So it starts with no guard, then I move to a zero guard, then a one guard, and eventually a two guard. And I'm just creating a light blend so it doesn't look super harsh when we line it up. So for the neckline, the line up on the neck and the back portion of the beard close to the ear, I use clippers. But to actually line up the beard, I hardly ever use clippers. I always go straight in with the straight razor. It's a lot more precise. It's a lot more sharp. You can create a, a more defined 
perfect edge on the beard uh as far as the shape on the beard everyone's beard is different like in this case um uh, we're just doing a subtle very little lineup on the beard like i told you guys we're in the growth period so i want to keep it as thick as possible but his beard doesn't connect to the mustache so i have to knock it down enough to where it doesn't look super weird and it can't just blend in with the mustache lineup if, if that makes sense I, I my vision and how i do it might be a lot different than yours but as you guys can see here his right side of the face, which is the, the side I'm doing now, it was a lot more higher, it was a lot thicker, it was a lot wider, so I had to take off a little bit more to make it uniform with the left side. Uh, but like I told you guys, it doesn't connect to the mustache, so even if I were to leave this beard lineup super, super wide, it would just look weird because it doesn't connect to the mustache. So I'm just lining it up as if it would connect to the mustache, and I'm also lining, lining up, as you guys can see, how symmetrical it is to the other side. I know I'm talking a lot, but I, I hardly ever do beard videos, so I'm trying to explain to you guys what I see and how I do it. And really the last step of this haircut is to apply a thin layer of hair fibers to the beard just to add a little bit of darkness, uh, fullness, and sharpness to the beard look itself. But we're not going for the unnatural look. That's why I say a thin layer. We don't want the Carlos Boozer looking beard where it looks super, super fake. Uh, we just add a thin layer, hit it with the straight razor, and you're just left with a super crispy, full, natural looking beard. And that's our main goal uh, when using the hair fibers. So as you guys can see, when you combine a dope beard with some hair fibers, a straight razor, and a lot of skill and patience, uh, you're, you're left with a super dope look. So that's really gonna do for this video. After this, I will use the electric shaver to really make that fade pop out more, uh, make the haircut last a little bit longer. But other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, smack the thumbs up button for me. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're new, turn on all post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.